It's taken more than two years of construction, but Sarpy County has a new spot for you to run and play. As of today, Prairie Queen Outdoor Rec Area is open. It's near 132nd and Highway 370 by Werner Park. New tonight, KETV News Watch 7's Joe Beth Devera takes us there, showing what it has to offer your family. They couldn't have picked a better day to debut the new Prairie Queen Recreation Area. No wind, and it's just temperatures about right. Whether it's fishing, running, biking, or boating, outdoor enthusiasts are excited for this new recreation destination. Tuesday, it's finally open to the public. It's going to be a real nice addition to the local area. 135 acres of water stocked with bass, bluegill, and catfish, just to name a few. Runners or bicyclists can enjoy four miles of paved trails. We don't have mountains or oceans, uh, things like that here, uh, but we do have a lot of uh, rivers, and, and this is another type of uh, water body that people can come out and enjoy. While the park offers plenty of outdoor fun, Winkler says more importantly, it gives Sarpy County residents some peace of mind. Everybody kind of forgets, though, when they get here that this is a flood control reservoir first. Thanks to its strategic location, the dam at Prairie Queen holds back potential flood water during heavy rainfall. Sedimentary basins were also constructed to protect the lake from unwanted guests like trash and other debris. And it's a water quality issue, so we want to catch all the, the runoff from developments like these over here before they get into the, the, uh, the lake. Winkler says with Sarpy County's growing population, the new park is already a big hit. Nice. Just add some recreational opportunities uh, for folks to, to enjoy here in the Midwest. Well, it looks like these guys had some luck today. If you want to test your luck, come out to the park. It's open from 6 a.m. to 10 p.m. Reporting at Prairie Queen Recreation Area, Joe Beth Devera, KETV News Watch 7. All right, if you want to fish like those guys, you will need a license. Otherwise, it won't cost a dime to visit the park. Again, it's at 132nd and Highway 370.